Hello and welcome once again to Scenic My Bedroom. Um, be happy because I put on a shirt just so I could do this. I'm going to summarize the last several days instead of actually saying anything. So, Tuesday, my grandfather passed away. And then I hit this horrible, horrible writing funk, and I didn't break out of it until quite literally a couple hours ago. And I am a full day behind my word count goals because I'm supposed to be breaking 600,000 today, I think. And I'm at 535,000. And I really, really don't want to be doing NaNoWriMo anymore. But the words are finally happening again, so I'm just going to let them happen because this book that will not end, it's turning into a trilogy. And I love my characters still, but they're... F I just want to write something else. <laughs> I, I might just, like, put off writing the third book and go write some ridiculous crappy fluff because I'm tired of angst and drama and hurting my characters for fun and profit. Actually, I like that part, but whatever. Anyway, um, how oh, I'm sorry you, your day sucked. I adore you. That's for you. I'll even make it fancy. Yeah. Where well, I'm sorry that everything sucks for you, too. Athy, I hear you got a job, and I'm happy for you. Um, I have three days off this week, and I have worked two weeks straight without a day off, so I'm pretty happy. I get Monday and Tuesday and Thanksgiving off, which was a given, because there's no way in fucking hell I'm working Thanksgiving. Um, so, yeah. I miss you guys, because I feel like I haven't talked to you really all month, and it's probably because I've been stupidly busy, and I've spent several days so depressed I could barely move unless I was going to work. So, um, I'm sorry, guys. I adore you all, and my voice is starting to croak. But, yeah. Yay. Um. I kind of ran out of things to say again. I don't have a script for these, like, ever. I just kind of start talking and hope that I actually say something worth listening to. But, things are getting better. I'm coping, kind of. And by coping, I mean I'm delaying the inevitable breakdown until I actually have time to have a breakdown. So, yeah. Um, the memorial service isn't going to be until this spring, and I'm learning Bridge Over Troubled Water on guitar for it, which just makes me cry every time I listen to this song, because I love that song, but it makes me sad now. Uh. Blah. Also, I have to work on my birthday, which isn't for like another month and a half, but whatever. I, I don't think I have to blog on my birthday, do I? No, it's the day after my birthday. Because my birthday's on a Sunday. Blah. <sighs> we. Anyway, I've been rambling for like three and a half minutes, so I guess I will go now because I need to set alarms because I have to get up at eight in the morning. So, blah. Double blah, triple blah. I actually had a pretty good day, all things considered, so I'm going to try to go be excited about that instead of being depressed about the rest of my life. So, ho, oh, I hope you feel better. Where, I hope you feel better as well. Athi, I adore you, which I haven't said lately. I adore all of you. Please don't be sad. Being sad is sad. And, yeah, that was really articulate of me. Anyway, I'm about to run over on time, so goodbye, guys. Um, I will see all of you in, like, 24 hours when I post the next one.